Post-holiday COVID surge is hitting many parts of the country. According to national data from the CDC, positive COVID-19 tests as well as hospitalizations and emergency room visits are on the rise. 2822 News reporter Amelia Sack talked with health experts to talk about what this means for our area. She joins us in the control center tonight with the latest. Amelia. Nick and Candace, good evening. The data we're seeing nationally is similar to what health experts say we're seeing in hospitals across northeastern Pennsylvania. In addition to COVID-19 cases, the experts I spoke with also told me that they're seeing high numbers of other respiratory infections, but they say the post-holiday sickness surge is nothing new. To go back to this higher rate of COVID, you have to go back to December of 2022, kind of beginning of January 2023. Dr. Stanley Martin, Director of Infectious Diseases at Geisinger, says the COVID-19 cases, hospitalizations, and emergency room visits are similar to what they saw this time last year at their hospitals. If you come in to get a COVID test because you have symptoms that could be consistent with COVID, right now you're looking at maybe about a 13% chance or so of it coming back positive for COVID. Katie McGlynn, Associate Director of Personal Health for the Wilkes-Barre Health Department, oversees spreadable disease investigations like COVID-19, the flu, and RSV. She says in Luzerne County, we are at a medium rate of hospitalizations. For ER visits, we are increasing um, for the Northeast region. So I think from the end of November to the end of December, that rate has doubled. So both ER admissions with COVID diagnosis are increasing and hospitalizations as well. Dr. Martin says at Geisinger, they're at over 100% of their inpatient capacity. He says this is due to the COVID-19 surge and the rise of other viral respiratory infections. That's a problem in the sense that it does kind of have effects throughout the healthcare system, right? He says these high numbers put a strain on staff and patients. It, it makes it harder for us to care for every patient. It makes it harder to get other things done in health care. But there is a positive. Dr. Martin says with this surge, they haven't seen as many ICU visits compared to last year. He says this is because we have some degree of immunity as a population, so severe infections aren't as common, but they haven't gone away entirely. He says the severity of an infection can vary with things like age, pre-existing conditions, and vaccination status. Overall, experts say when it comes to this surge of COVID-19, you should stay calm, informed, and up to date on vaccines. It's always best to just take, you know, take a step back and think about those prevention measures and how you can best implement them for you and your family. And at the end of the day, it is a preventable problem. According to the CDC, the most dominant variant they're seeing nationwide is the JN.1 variant. It's a descendant of the Omicron variant, and the CDC says that the variant is highly transmissible, but it does not appear to be more severe than previous variants. Reporting in the Control Center, Amelia Sack, 2822 News. Thank you, Amelia. And that's going to take us to our Instapoll question today. We are asking, with the reports of COVID, flu, and RSV on the rise, what precautions are you taking? You have five choices here um, and three different ways you can vote. Scan the QR code, go to pahomepage.com or the drop-down menu on our app.